Hey guys, thanks for checking out another HatchetCast episode. Today we're experimenting with cover. Let's roll the intro. Hey everybody, thanks for checking out another HatchetCast episode. Today we're gonna to be talking about different types of cover. So we're gonna be experimenting with a couple of different types of cover. Um, what's good cover, what's bad cover. Some of the stuff that we have that we're gonna be talking about today or, or showing are gonna be things that are in a natural environment, no matter where you're at. If you're in a suburban neighborhood, if you're prepping and you have sandbags, um, but these are all things that are naturally available. This is gonna be the first of a set of a series that we're gonna do about cover. So if you actually have things that you wanna see tested, sit in the comments. It really does help out the channel. So make sure you comment below some different types of materials that you don't see in this video. We may actually put into another video and test that type of stuff out. Before we get started, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. It really does help us out. We actually found out that only 30% of the people who watch our content are actually subscribed. So that means there's 70% of people who watch our videos that aren't even subscribed to the channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you uh, hit the notification bell as well so that way you're up to date about new episodes that drop. So we're gonna start off today um, kind of talking about what cover is and what is some decent type of cover. And the first thing we're actually gonna be shooting is sandbags. Now the control measure that we're gonna be using is 5.56. This is a 16 inch rifle. And this is actually our uh, barrel and hatchet uh, barrel that we're doing a collaboration with Roscoe Manufacturing. And they asked us to do a collab with them. So we're actually using a, uh, um, a collab barrel with Roscoe. So this is a 16 inch barrel and we are gonna be using 5.56 for this test. Now the two different types of ammo that we decided to go with is gonna be 55 grain, so M193, and then M855 green tip 62 grain. And the reason why we're going with those is because of the most common. 5.56 is the most common here in the US, and those two grain types are the most common type of 5.56 bullets that we have here in the US. So um, that's what we decided to go with is our control. Um, obviously we understand that there's other calibers that have a better role in punching through this type of barriers or you know, could be a better um, round for punching through the different types of cover. But we're gonna go with 5.56. Maybe in another episode we'll do bigger calibers. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the difference between cover and concealment is going to be that concealment hides you, right? Um, now, cover can be concealment uh, most of the time, but not all concealment's gonna be cover. So for example, the only way that cover could not be concealment is if you're behind like bulletproof glass or something like that. But most time, cover will be concealment. Concealment would not always be cover. Cover stops bullets, concealment hides you. Um, so we'll actually be shooting from here. It's about 25 yards away from that target and where we're actually gonna be shooting the different types of cover. And we're gonna see if these penetrate. Some of these, we haven't shot them yet. They might surprise us. Um, the biggest things that we're gonna be looking for also is, and things that you should be thinking about is not will it stop one round, but will it stop multiple rounds in that general vicinity um, that would be good cover, right? So I don't wanna have that one shot um, that doesn't punch through. If it can stop multiple rounds, that's pretty ideal for me. So we'll go ahead and take a look at this target. But um, these are things that you should be thinking about whatever your environment is and where you're, wherever you're at, you should be looking at um, different types of cover constantly. Whenever I was in, like, so I grew up skateboarding, and it's funny because like any time that we would like be driving around the city, I'd be like, oh man, that's a great skate spot. Like that's a good spot to go. That's a cool set. That's a great rail. Um, there's tons of space for that. Your mind automatically becomes geared towards finding um, the correct type of thing for whatever you're looking for. So for example, if you're in a more defensive mindset, you're gonna start looking at things differently. So you'll be seeing like, that's a good piece of cover right there. Um, but yeah, anyways, so let's just walk down here. 
So what we're gonna be shooting is, is we have sandbags and here in Florida, we have a plethora of sandbags. Um, they're actually white in color, but you actually can buy these at Lowe's. If you buy them actually in bulk, you can get them for a pretty decent price. Um, but this is for hurricane prep. So a lot of people use this to prep for hurricanes to prevent water from coming in and flooding their house. But we're gonna use this for this test. So we've got an Ipsic target behind the sandbags. We only have a single row of sandbags. And if you've actually seen, we've actually kind of staggered it like bricks. So we didn't just stack them straight up on top. We actually staggered it. So we lay two sandbags and then put one sandbag over top where it splits. Um, if you single row it, obviously there's a chance that there's a bullet that can sneak through these little cracks. So if I was gonna be shooting at this, I'd probably wanna try and sneak it through there to try and get a, sh a shot through. But you usually wanna double double stack it. So this, this space right here would actually be covered by a second row of sandbags that would cover up that weakness. But we're actually just gonna shoot the actual bag and see how it does. and see if Jimmy back there will stay alive. All right, so we're gonna go ahead. That's, <laughs> there's still a lot of this thing hanging around. We're not using that, um, but we are gonna go with green tip first. So 62 grain or M855 also known as. Um, there's tons of companies that make it, but we're gonna try out that first. We're gonna do five shots and see if any of them make it through. I'm also gonna throw some shots in between those cracks. So let's see how it goes. All right, see how she did. What do you think, Seth? You think it actually went through? I do not. I'm kind of curious. I don't really know if it did or didn't. So I threw some of them inside of that little crack area. No penetration, look at that. Nothing. So you got one, two, there's actually one right here in this space. I threw one right there, three. So that's four. Five may have actually gone in there too. Here, check out the backside. There's no D for, there's nothing. Nothing on that backside. And that's just a single row of sandbags. That's actually pretty decent. I was expecting it to at least get one through. Um, I'm gonna try squirt, squirting one right inside this spot right here and see if I can sneak one in there. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and try some 55 grain, so M193, just pretty standard. We'll go with that and see how it does. So I'm gonna squirt that right in the middle where all those spots intersect, but I don't think this is gonna go through at all. It'll probably be the same result. Um, but let's see, here we go. Five rounds of 55 grain. I snuck some of them kind of high up on that sandbag just to kind of see like how high up on the sandbag I could get it. But man, that sand just absorbs so much energy. Um, when it comes to like using sand versus dirt, I feel like sand absorbs a lot more of that energy. It's just a lot less loose. I think you were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Let's see. Dude, no penetration, look at that. So I got one, two, three, four. Look how high up. You can see where there's a depression from all the force. Look at that. Dang. That's pretty crazy. And it didn't even sneak through us. I, I tried sneaking a couple through that spot. It's curious. Look at that. Wonder if I can actually dig it out. Hey, I got it. I think I do. Yeah, here's a fragment of it. Check it out. So look, it's like breaking apart. So that's that round is literally fragmenting inside of that as soon as it hits that and bleeding off so much energy. I was not expecting it to be that effective. And that's just one row. That's one row. So imagine two rows, it's gonna be solid. So we'll go with the tree next. We'll go, we brought a uh, measuring tape to measure out different circumferences of different trees. So we'll start off with a small tree and see how big we can go before it starts actually stopping rounds. So now we're gonna be trying a tree. We're gonna start off with a small tree and then start working our way up to bigger trees from there. But we've got Jimmy here and he is hiding behind a ridiculously small tree. You wanna you stack cover, as much cover as you can between you, 
and whoever's shooting at you. The more cover you can stack in between you and your target, the better. But Jimmy here is an idiot, so he decided that this is gonna be a good spot. So we're actually gonna shoot it from probably about 15 yards away and see how it does. Right now we'll be using 55 grain for this. We'll do five rounds and see if he's still alive at the end. Yeah, he's already dead. You got two shots in, he just fell over. All right, so here are my two impacts. Dude, dude, get, look behind there, look behind. Wow, and it still made a pretty good, obviously it stopped in this other tree, but look at that. So let's see how he fared. You can see all that frag that he's getting behind that tree. So I think that's our actual shots. But man, look at those chunks of frag he's getting. <laughs> I was not expecting that. That's not a it's good like day. It's like a pirate ship. You go on a pirate ship, they die from splinters. All right, Jimmy had too much frag from the first tree, so we replaced it with Billy. So here's Billy, and we're gonna give him a shot. No pun intended. That was actually funny. I'm curious, man. I actually got, this one's 55 grain, so we'll do five rounds of 55. M193. What do you think's gonna happen? I think it'll stop it. You think so? Oh yeah, I don't even think it'll make it more than an inch. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot one kind of center mass and then one on the edge of the tree. All right, so here's where I shot just because, so this is where my shots were. Huh, I don't even see anything on the other side. Let's go check out Billy or whatever its name is. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I don't see anything. Ate it up pretty decent. Let's try 55 or 62. 62 grain. So yeah, you can see with that a little bit more kinetic energy, started working here center and then working to my left, but still look at that, that just deflected it. I don't even see there's nothing even on the target. Still clean. That's a good solid tree. I think also it depends on the type too. So like if you're shooting pine, pine's probably gonna be a lot easier. Maybe we should shoot a pine tree on the next episode. But um, yeah, pretty good. And I started going to the weak point, which is gonna be the edge and it still held up. It just deflected the round. Obviously the lower you get, you got more dirt, you got tree, you got thicker roots. Um, you got dirts that fill in all those cavities underneath the tree. That's gonna be money. All right, now we got two cinder blocks. Um, one thing that we see all the time, like Discovery Channel and all those famous shows, is they have cinder blocks, but they never fill them with anything. So like the only time that you find cinder blocks that aren't filled in is like at a construction site and they're waiting to be used. So we're gonna go ahead and fill these in with sand. Ideally, they're gonna be filled with concrete, but we don't have quick reach, so we're just gonna use sand. The top one we're gonna shoot 55 grain at, the bottom one we're gonna shoot 62 grain, and we're gonna see how many hits it will take before it starts punching through and hitting that target behind it. So let's just go ahead and we're gonna take some of this sand and just dump it in there. This is kind of like, if you like think of like the foundation of a house or something of that nature, just think about like what are some environments that you know of where obviously you see cinder blocks. I mean, they're everywhere. So the chances of running into something that has cinder block supports or something of that nature, it's pretty high, especially you live in an urban area. Good enough for government work. 55 grain first, and then we'll go to 62. What do you think it's gonna be? Four, I think five rounds. By the fifth round, it'll punch through. If it can crack the front of the brick face, but right. even with it, the cavity's filled. Yeah. So as long as it doesn't spill all the way out, I think it'll still hold the integrity and won't allow the rounds to punch all the way through. Five rounds, we're gonna go top cinder block, 55 grain. Oh boy. Dang, it actually held form. Key is, is whether it punched through or not. I mean, that, that cinder block disintegrates freaking <laughs> fast. Dude, no penetration, look at that. I mean, the cinder block is getting pulverized. You know, I'm not, I think honestly, the bottom one will probably do better because it has more structural support putting weight on top, but there is no hit on that, that back one. I wonder, did it, is there any back face deformation? None. Wow. All right, 62 grain, there's the bottom cinder block.
I don't think, dude, look at that. That's crazy. All right. It, it, because I think cold. there's the weight of the other cinder block on top, it's like um, it absorbed the end, like it held together more. It's clean. Look at the back. So, I mean, let's try, I'm gonna try, uh, what do I got in here? Let's try A1. We'll see how many rounds before it goes through. We'll have it on the GoPro too, so we'll be able to track, because I think we'll be able to see the impacts on the target. So let's just see how many it takes to get through that. So right now we've got a total of 10 rounds, right? 10 rounds? How many do you think it's gonna be now? We got 10 rounds in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> now we got A1 going, I think which is gonna be more three, powerful. I think within three to five. Three to five? Easily it'll punch through now with that yeah. A1. Oh yeah. So we got one that finally squeaked through, and that was after this. Oh, dude, look, 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 look. Look at that. So it's punching through, you see this? Yep. So it's punching through. All right, so I've never seen this before. Um, I've never seen this before, this is crazy. So this is A1, and this is the steel core that has had all the copper jacketing taken off of it. That is literally, I've never seen that before. That is crazy. That's wild. Like if you're taking sustained heavy rounds like that, like I probably would not, it'd be good for a short period of time. But as you start seeing this thing get destroyed in front of you, it's probably time to find a new spot. You know what I'm saying? Or find a fresh part of the wall. Oh yeah. All right, we're gonna try the pavers next. And these are what? Yeah. Almost eight inches. Eight inches thick. So let's just see, we'll, we'll run this and just see how many rounds it takes to get these through. Because we saw with the cinder blocks, like it wasn't punching through and there's way more dirt. Yeah, we'll just do 62 grain or the MA55A1 because I mean, if, if that is stopping it, then obviously 62 grain green tip and 55 grain will be even, can sustain, you can use, it'll take up more hits, so. Looks like some frag took some things off on the right side. So that bottom garden paver didn't even get smacked. But even that, dude, like when the when the block was gone, I was shooting just a dirt pile and that was still stopping the round. So just having dirt, earth is so good of a, a round stopper. Like honestly, it's good to, if, as long as like you can find something like the sandbags that's not as brittle as concrete, it can, it can hold the sand together because the earth is what's the best stopper so far. Look at that. So that's it hitting the, uh, that's just from hitting that concrete and just getting pulverized. Here you go. So you're seeing all that deformation. Look at that. Just how much of that energy is just being dumped it's, I think you're right, man. I think it was like the, the steel, the plates. No way. Dude, look at this. All right, let's go. All right, okay. What does this look like? Does that look like a bullet hit another bullet? Yep. 
<laughs> Are you serious right now? Dude, that round hit another round that was already in the dirt. Do you see that? All right, so next is gonna be the bricks. Old Jimmy, Billy, Timmy didn't make it. Yeah, Jimmy John freaking took one to the chin. All right, so we'll, we'll try 55 grain. We'll, we'll see how it does. I'm gonna do the top brick and then just start working my way down. I don't have really high hope for this, but. <laughs> wow. Yep. I think I would take my chance behind the skinny tree. Yeah, it's not looking good. Actually, no, so he got one. Um, so I shot each individual brick. So I didn't shoot after the brick was gone, I just shot the brick. So it looks like one did sneak through, but what's crazy is the fact that it actually was enough to soak up the round. So here you go, check it out. Look at this, so here. That's what that looks like. There's your fragment right there. Yeah, so one of them did sneak through. Here you go. Dude, it did it again. Or that's an old one. That's an old one, because I shot. 55 grain. Yeah, so here's some of your other 55 grain. That is crazy. Just look at all the pieces of brick. I know. So, I mean, like, exploded. if you're behind this, it's exploding. Man, I would almost be like, either find new cover as best you can, but, like, you're on a clock. Like, you don't have much time for that cover to actually do anything for you. It would be interesting if we mortared them, though, together. So, it's one. Yeah, one solid wall, piece. And see if the rounds are actually going to still just. It was crazy brick. is it's like, as I was shooting it, I could literally see the brick explode. It was almost like a game. Yeah. Um, like I was canceling bricks out. <laughs> <laughs> like in a Mario game when he jumps up and smashes the Exact. Blocks. That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah, it looks like it's a Mario game. Like Mario just punching the crap out of the brick. So yeah, that's the different types of cover we tried out today. Um, if you have comments about what other type of material we should test, please comment them below because we're actually gonna do a series on this and just try out different types of material to see what's good cover, what is bad cover, and how much can it sustain before it starts to disintegrate and no longer be cover. Um, but yeah, thanks for checking out this episode. Guys, if you wanna support us, we get that question all the time. Uh, the best way is obviously to like and subscribe, but the other way is also to be a paid member. We're actually going to be putting out training videos on our paid membership channel, and also you get early access to these episodes and see them before they ever release to the public. So it does help put food on the table. It directly supports Barrel and Hatchet, allows us to continue to go on. It allows us to go kind of a little bit more, do exciting videos like this, and to be able to try out different stuff that you guys want to see. So if you have other videos that you would also like to see and some things that would be interesting, please comment them below. Um, the other thing you can do is come train with us and pick up something in the store. We do have our schedule we're going to be pushing out, so make sure you sign up for the newsletter so you do get our training schedule. And we love training with you guys. It's awesome. It is so humbling to train with you guys all the time. Um, make sure you check out our Instagram, our X, and we're also going to be more active on Spotify. So check that out as well, where we talk about preparedness and also how to be an asset. In the end, guys, make sure you guys go out and train. Continue to invest in yourself. You are the most important investment. Make sure you're the asset and not the liability, and we'll see you on the next one.